the word for cherry blossom, sakura, has become part of the English language. The cherry blossom is so important in Japanese culture that it's inspired many paintings, poems, songs, and a variety of edible delicacies. So why have cherry blossoms captured the imagination of so many Japanese over so many generations? According to websites by Matcha and Jiao, sakura are beloved because of their beauty, and I think that's self-explanatory. But on a deeper level, they represent the transience of life, the fleeting nature of youth and beauty. Just like life itself, cherry blossoms are very fragile. They bloom for 10 days out of the year, and then they're gone. How many varieties of cherry blossoms are there? There are five varieties and over 20 subspecies. The five varieties are Somei Yoshino, Yamazakura, Yaizakura, Shidarezakura, and Gyoiko. Most cherry blossoms have five petals. Check the link below for more information. Fun fact, did you know that the 100 yen coin has cherry blossoms on one side? So how do Japanese enjoy Hanami? Before the global pandemic, people used to go out and have parties underneath the cherry blossoms at night. Karaoke and heavy drinking were always part of Hanami. They would usually send a junior staffer to go stake out a place at the local park. These days, Hanami parties are not really held that often, and local parks encourage people to keep moving as they take pictures. The link below supplies a forecast of the different cherry blossoms. You'll note that they bloom from south to north, starting from Okinawa, going all the way up to Hokkaido. Since cherry blossoms only bloom for about 10 days out of the year, you want to plan your trip accordingly. Each region has its own kind of cherry blossoms, so depending on where you go, you'll see totally different blossoms and get completely different pictures. I have a playlist of different cherry blossom videos and it keeps growing, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss something. And last but not least, sign up.